It's the morning of day six. Last night was good. I got about five hours of sleep there. Woke up a couple times to use the toilet, but that's about it. I had a dream last night. I was in this five-star gourmet restaurant. And I was walking in, I could just smell all the delicious food. So I sat down and looked at the menu. Everything looked just super delicious, you know? So I ordered my meal. And then to the left and to the right of me, there was people sitting at tables who had already ordered their meals. And I could just see it, I could smell it. And they had just ordered, you know, the most amazing dishes. One person ordered the thing that I had ordered on the menu. So I knew what I was looking forward to. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And then I could see the server come out from back of the kitchen and walking towards me. Put the plate down on my table. And, you know, I got my napkin ready, my forks. I was about to tuck in. I was about to eat the most delicious meal. Because this took place, the dream took place after the fast. So I did my fork in. I lifted it up to my mouth. And before I took a bite, I woke up. That dream was just a tease, you know? Because I'm ready to eat, man. I'm ready to eat, but at the same time, we've come so far now that I don't think anything will stop me from finishing the fast. But anyway, day six, I'm feeling good. Let's go. Yesterday I weighed in at 156.2 pounds. Today I weigh in at 58.2. In the height that this all took place during COVID-19, we were deep in quarantine and eventually certain places started to open up. So instead of taking a walk today, my wife and I journeyed to the city dump to get rid of some of our garden waste that we had stocked up in the backyard for some time. It was nice to get out during the fast and to see members of the community keen to get back to work to take care of the city. Then we went to the local Asda Superstore to stock up on water for the fast and other household essentials for the pandemic. During quarantine, you need to have your stuff. After that, I decided to practice some of my basketball skills in the garden to keep up my exercise and ensure that I make it into the NBA. I never thought that I would have this much energy at this stage in the fast. There are standard outcomes from doing a fast. Some of these include health conditions slash disease may improve, physical energy may increase, elevated mental abilities, heightened quality of life, and the ability to adapt to stressful or hard situations better and improve your resilience. I managed to experience three of these outcomes during my fast. The first had to do with health conditions and disease improving. I've had hay fever for as long as I can remember in the spring and summertime. My sneezing, blocked, and runny nose managed to clear up by 50%. Also, I felt less bloated and the pain in my left back side really decreased. The second outcome I experienced had to do with mental abilities. I felt more connected with my mind at moments, as if I was thinking clearly for the first time. I started to think in detail about things and ideas that I never really unpacked. The third outcome I experienced had to do with resilience. So far this fast has really been a test of self-control and willpower, and will enable me to withstand further difficulties in life. So it's the end of day six, and I'm actually going to head in for an early night tonight. Tomorrow's the final day, you know. It's come kind of quick, kind of slow as well. Depends on how you think about it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead in for an early night, wake up tomorrow, and crack on with it.